Hello everyone, welcome to another video on ChatGPT4 and ChatGPT3 and OpenAI. Today I will show you how to connect OpenAI and ChatGPT4 and 3 with Squarespace. So I will also show you if it's possible or not. So as you can see here, we're on Zapier and Zapier is basically a way to connect two different apps together and create a task out of those two apps. So for example, if we go here, we can type in OpenAI we can select OpenAI. Currently, it's just for GPT-3 and Delhi, but it will soon be for GPT-4 as well. And then here, you can basically go and type in Squarespace, right? So you have Squarespace here. And as you can see here, you can select the trigger. But right now, the triggers are disabled. Why is that? Because this is still in early beta. Uh, you know, having to, um, you know, enable this is still in early beta, so we can actually enable the action. So how these actions will actually look like, for example, when we do something in OpenAI in GPT-3 or 4, uh, you know, we will be able to go, go and show this on our website on Squarespace, right? For example, as you can see right here, you can see we only have API requests for now, right? Uh, and then you will be able to create a Zap, right? A zap is a task basically in Zapier. Since this is in early beta, I wanted to create this video to show you that this will be possible very much soon, uh, but it's still not possible for everyone because it's still in early beta, right? So I would love to see if this is possible for you. So comment down below if this is possible for you or not in Zapier. Um, again, this is still in early beta, so it's not uh, you know available for everyone, but it will be available for uh, most people soon. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful, even though it's not that a useful video. I still wanted to show you how you can potentially do this in the future. Uh, and uh, yeah, other than that, I uh, will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.